So there's two Hereford heifers here behind me, so I'm going to pass over to Sean to talk a little bit about, you know, a bit of information about them and I suppose highlight the importance of whether when a dairy farmer is selecting a beef bull for using his dairy cows or a beef farm buying calves, the important role genetics can, can play. Yeah, so we picked out um, two very similar Hereford heifers here on farm about two and a half to three weeks, um, arriving around three weeks of age and in arrival weights they were both very similar, I think it was 56 kilos for the two of them. Um, but as far as their genetic makeup goes, it's completely different. So this near calf is by a bull called Netherhall One Mindset. Um, his AI code is HE8448. And the far calf is by a bull called Pute Nascar. Um, his AI code is HE5806. But um, when we look into the, their, their indices, and particularly their carcass weight, their, um, their poles apart really, the near calf by the Netherhall Mindset bull is is in around 1.2 kilos per carcass versus the other, the other calf at around 16.7 kilos. So we're talking about 17 or 18 kilos of carcass differential there alone. Their dairy beef sub-index, it's even higher. It's 105 versus 68. And it's very important to mention that both these calves are from sires that are very similar on the, on the calving difficulty. I think, I think they're both actually 3.4 on the dairy cow. So there's huge potential there to, to boost um, the standard of calves coming off the dairy market. Um, by doing very little. I think Sean, that's, that, as we approach the breeding season, that's a really important point. The sire of these two bulls have both very similar calving differently, but you can get a huge, huge difference or a huge impact in the better beef quality. Minus a kilo or a kilo on the bad versus 16 with similar calving. So what we really want is, as a dairy farmer selecting you know, his, his AI bulls or buying a stock bull, is select on the bulls with you know, the calving difficulty that they're suitable, but select with the highest carcass and beast sub index. And the next part of this video is we're going to walk across the yard and we're going to look at two of our yearling Hereford heifers. And I suppose in this video you can clear there isn't much difference. And as a beef farmer, how do you tell you know, the different genetics? They look very similar, but let's kick it on a year down the line and show the, the large variation between them. And it really highlights the critical part is when you're buying calves, don't just go and looks alone. So the genetics of calf is critical. Behind me is two of our yearling heifers. And what we really want to highlight is a year on from when you've seen the calves, uh, the difference that genetics can make. So the first heifer here in front of us here is, um, she's by uh, Hereford Bull Sol Pol 1 Spark, okay? When we look at his DBI, it's 77 euro. And when we look at his, I suppose, his beef attributes, his beef sub index, it's 72. But it's important to point out his carcass weight figure is only 0.7, okay? So it's really low, okay? The breed average for her is around six kilos. So really poor. And also for confirmation, we look at, you probably see here, it's very narrow on the shoulder, but they have a 0.47. You'd like that to be 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. When we look at the heifer behind her, this heifer is only a week older, but She's reared exactly the same, but she's from a different sire. So she's from Goulding, Goulding Pole 1 Zoro. And we look at his DBI, it's 119. And within the DBI, your B sub index has a figure of 91. So much higher already than the heifer in front of us. And we look at his carcass, it's plus eight. So again, huge difference. He's not the best bull in the world, but considerable difference. And on the trial farm here, we buy in roughly 25 calves per bull. And at the minute, as, as yearlings, there is over 30 kilo difference between the groups, between the 25 calves from the bull from this, from this heifer versus, versus this. So considerable, considerable difference. But as calves, there were, again, only a week difference in age, there were similar live weights coming in, and they cost similar money. As a farmer, you want to be buying more calves from this bull versus this bull, uh, because you can add a lot more carcass weight I would say you'll also get more carcass confirmation, so then you have more chance of hitting, you know, your inspect bonuses and adding value to your carcasses. So as a beef farmer, you have a couple of different options. Number one is you need to link with a dairy farmer. So a dairy farmer has a good cow type, you know, that's doing a good job at the colostrum. I suppose work with a relationship, sit down, maybe having a cup of tea, and pick what bulls, you know, that you'd like him to use that are easy calving and short gestation, but with good beef traits. So we're going to, what we're going to do is because Sean's going to put these up on the scales and we want to see the difference in weights. So what was she? 342.
So Sean, we weighed the two heifers now. There was an 80 kilo difference between the two of them. I says, what? What's that? In terms, like, is that difference going to get bigger? Or what ways? Like, that's some of us. I, I suppose now we're talking. We're in the middle of April now. Um, you'd imagine that gap will only get bigger. Um, there's probably more scope in the other heifer as well. Like so, you know, like it's longer. longer it? Like yeah. by the time that heifer is slaughtered, probably September, October time. You could say nearly 100 kilos, you could say 50 kilos of carcass maybe. This money now you're talking well over 250 euro on that heifer alone, like so. Yeah, so like worst case scenario, even we say at the minute, if it's with the 80 kilo live weight difference, we'd say kill out 50%. And worst case is 40 euro times the five is 200 euro. Like it's a lot of money, isn't it? Like for a dairy calf to beef, for a dairy calf to be system. Yeah. Joe, on the farm here, we 25 or 30 calves from each bull, and we're seeing similar trends. And I suppose what it really highlights is, as a beef farmer, that when you're buying the calves is don't just go on looks alone, ask the questions, start to build a relation with the dairy farmer because there's huge you know, gains that you can get more output from your farm. Uh, you can get you know, potentially better carcass value because you better confirmation hitting your spec. But then for the dairy farmer, that you know, if you use the right bulls, you can get that similar, as we said, these two heifers, there was actually the, the poor quality heifer was from a, a slightly harder calving bull. So you can get bulls that are easy calving with good beef traits. You know, for the breeding season ahead, you know, if you haven't bought your semen, to start looking at you know, looking at the best bulls. Select your calving difficulty for your herd and use the bulls with the highest B sub index and especially look at that carcass figure, the higher the better. So, so really, really important.